Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject is strategic planning, a key part of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module is part of the Plan and Implement Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program. In it, we'll examine four ways of evaluating an organization's preparedness for the future including maturity models, technology trends, internal IT impact analysis, and operational effectiveness versus strategic positioning. Maturity models have become a popular means of benchmarking an organization's performance against that of others, or at the very least, of developing an understanding of how it can best improve its performance. A few years ago, Baseline Magazine and the BTM Institute expanded their examination of companies attempting to improve information management to include a maturity model that cuts across four areas process, organization, information, and technology, as shown. Such an assessment typically involves baselining and benchmarking the organization's perceived status in each area, where it is now, targeting a future status, where it wants to be, and evaluating themselves along the way. Models vary in the number and type of stages and categories, but the thinking behind all of them is basically the same. If an organization doesn't know its current position and doesn't know its destination, it can expect a drawn-out and costly voyage. Another important exercise is to understand the latest technology trends in and around your organization's areas of activity. By conducting an industry analysis, insights can be developed regarding which technologies are hot and which are not, how competitors and collaborators may be viewing the world and what they're doing about it, and what this all may mean for you. It's especially important to identify any potential disruptive technologies on the horizon, those that are likely to transform your market or customer base or method of operation in the way, say, web, social, local, and mobile technologies have. Individually and together, these have created a highly connected world in which people have more ways to create, access, and share information than ever before and organizations must learn not only how to embrace the new opportunities created thereby, but also to mitigate the new risks of competition, perhaps, or obsolescence or noncompliance that come along for the ride. A third excellent introspection technique is the internal IT impact analysis, which is used to determine which of your IT-related services or assets, which is to say information, people, software, hardware, facilities, and so forth, are most essential to protect. As a general rule, a service or asset is essential when disclosing, modifying, misusing, or destroying it will impede your organization's progress towards achieving its goals in a mission-critical area like finance, compliance, reputation, and human safety. Wikipedia says a classical life cycle impact assessment contains the following elements. Selection of impact categories, category indicators, and characterization models classification of specific inventory parameters, and impact measurement, quantifying the damage that would result from an issue with particular assets. One last point to consider is the need to remember that achieving operational effectiveness is not a substitute for sound strategic positioning. Although it's important to eliminate waste, save money, and limit risk, these outcomes are focused on day-to-day -day operations. Strategic positioning, on the other hand, is concerned with assembling a set of activities that deliver a unique combination of values, resulting in a competitive advantage that's not easily replicated. This model has examined four ways of evaluating an organization's preparedness for the future, including maturity models, technology trends, internal IT impact analysis, and operational effectiveness versus strategic positioning. Having completed it, you may next wish to review the section on building the business case. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the information certification exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. 
You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.